Guys, what do you use for cooking in your place? Well, today I'm going to show you what I use for cooking in my home in town. Not in the village, but in town. So, I'm going to make it step by step with you. What we need is a top plug, a connector, we need wire 2.5, we shall be needing a coil, it's called coil spare. We shall also be needing a coil stand. So let's begin, show you step by step of what we use for cooking here. I'm going to tie it. After it's ready, I will test it for you so you see how we use it in this place. So I will have to strip this wire. Then I fold it so it could grab very well the coil. So guys, this is how we do it, I will be now tying it, this tying I'm doing is to make the coil firm on the frame, also we call it coil frame. Just like this. There we go. Then this one. So when when that part is done, I will also have to strip this cable. And then these holes are for these wires to grab so that there can be a proper tying. So, I'll now use this connector. Tester, please. No, another. This one is not good. Get for me a new one. This is a connector. 
I'm going to use it to connect the coil and the wire. So I, I removed this because during cooking this part becomes so hot and this thing will melt. So if you want to use this for so long, you have to remove this. The connection has to be firm so that there will be no loose connection. This wire is for earthing. I will definitely have to tie it on, on the frame so that the coil cannot shock the person using it to cook. Like I said earlier on, the connection has to be so strong. So this part here is now done. What's remaining is to tie the top plug, which you have to strip the wire again. Now untie the nuts to allow wires to penetrate inside the top plug. Once that is done, 
You now get the length for tying here. So guys we are almost done with our work and very soon I shall be testing for you our new project from my new factory. <laughs> How should we name the factory guys? The manufacturing factory. I don't know what name we should give to it. Maybe you can let us know in the comment section below. And uh, also let me know whether you use such things in your place. For us here, it's commonly used because it is cheap and uh, it saves time. It cooks fast because charcoal is quite expensive. So guys, our project is now done. So we now use the meter. This is a, a digital multimeter we are going to test it on the continuity to test whether it's of course this is a coil so that's why we have to test it on continuity it must measure between 30 to 35 so, the meter has some slight issues okay so guess what it is exactly 35 so let me test whether it, it doesn't shock so this is the earthing earthing properly connected so guys we are now done and ready for testing so this is our new so guys this is our new project as you can see we are going to test it come with me So guys, I have just switched it on. I will definitely switch off the light for you to, to see how hot it is. Actually, it's beginning to get warm. It's beginning to hot. It's hot right now. It's beginning to get hot. When it is extremely hot, you can see the smoke. Huh? That's, that smoke comes out first time in use. Anytime we are using it fast, smoke has to come out and then when you are reusing it for the second time the smokes will not be there so that one should not scare you it is because i think maybe the coloring used after manufacturing the coil guys i hope you learned something from this video and uh, uh, do me a favor to click the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a new video you'll be the first to receive the notification thank you thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give it to give it a thumb a thumbs up and share the video so that your friends can also learn
how we live our life and what we use for cooking in our place thank you so much till we meet again next time bye bye